Okay. Now let's look at this question. It says if the marginal cost for a product is that is M C four X plus two. Four X plus two. And the production of 10 units results in total cost of $300. So we have the quantity. The quantity to be worth 10 units. And we have the, um, what do we call, the first cost to be $200. So we say the cost is worth $200. Okay. Find the total cost function for the month. And so we have to calculate for the total cost function for the month. How do we calculate for the total cost function of the month? There is the marginal cost, right? So you have to integrate it to get the total cost. But this one, we have been given the two, the cost and the unit. So we substitute what? the two into the formula. Then you get your um, total cost function. So very quick, we say our MC equals to 4x plus 2. So our C of x would be what? 4x 1 plus 1. Then we divide it by 1 plus 1. Okay. Plus 2. x is going to 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1. Plus our k. So we say C of x is equal to 4x squared over 2 plus 2x over 1 plus k. So this one goes here 1, here 2. So c of x is equal to what? 2, there is 2x squared. So you have 2x squared plus 2x plus k. Right? There is k here, so we are not that. We have to do the substitution. And here we were given the what? Quantity 10 units. So our x is what? The 10 units and our cost is what 200. So, very quick, um, we say our C of x now is equal to 2 times 10 squared. Right? So, we have 2 times 10 squared. Okay, plus, so we were given the cost to be 200. So, plus 2 10. Okay plus 2. So we have 200 here equal to 100 squared will give you what? Uh, 10 squared will give you 100. So we have 2 times 100 plus 2 times 10 is 20 plus k. Okay. So you have 200 equal to 200 plus 20 plus k. So this you are going to group what like them. So 200 this one causes the equation becomes negative 200. This one causes to become negative 20 equal to what? K. So 200 minus 200 is 0. Minus what? 20. And you are getting what? 20. Negative 20. So negative 20 is equal to K. Therefore, K is equal to what? Negative what? 20. So K is equal to what? Negative 20. So if k is equal to negative 20, then we have to substitute the value of k into this function to get our total cost function. So now our total cost function becomes c of x equal to 2x squared plus 2x minus 20. That's our total cost function. Okay, so we don't have anything again. Okay, so the second question says we are to calculate um, the total cost of producing what? 200 units. So we are to uh, total cost of producing what? 200 units. So 200 units quantity. Right, so we have quantity to be, that is the second question. So we have the quantity to be 200 units. So we have to calculate the total cost. So we just have to substitute what's the quantity here. Okay. We are not going to substitute the 10. The 10 was just used to calculate for what's the value of k. So we are done with that. Now the second question. We have to calculate what's 200 units. 
And so we say our total cost is equal to 2, 200 squared plus 2, 200 minus what? 20. Okay. So here you have what? C, X equal to 2. This one will give you what? Um, 200 times 200 will give you 4,000. Okay. Plus 2 times 200 will give you 400 minus 20. Okay. So let's proceed. Let's bring the data here. So our cost, C of X, is now what? 2 times 4,000 is what? 8,000 plus 400 minus 20. So um, this one will give us 20. Then we add it to this one to get our 8,020. It was in dollars, so we have to bring the units. Dallas, 8,020. And we are done. So that is it. You can also try the person on the screen and uh, provide the answers to me at the comment section and I'll verify it for you. Once again, my name is Afari NS and this is the age that kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss our next videos. Please like our videos and also um, show appreciation by giving us an emoji or any comments. Thank you very much. We really take it.